that is so cute. Like, am I gonna use these? No, but I like looking at them. You're like, these just, they remind me of my great grandma, although I don't remember her ever hanging up laundry. It's just, I don't know. Hi, today I have a little thrift haul for you um, of little random things, of practical things, but I, I we end up doing a lot of little projects around the house and so um, I made a list and I just look for these weird things and sometimes I just come across and one of my favorites I found with these clips you know they're like seven dollars for a package at Walmart so they're only 69 cents and I was really ridiculously happy about that oh another thing that I was really happy to find was this um, old school label maker I put a lot of labels on my jars in my pantry it's, and it's so much fun um, I really love copper I have a little bit in the kitchen and I was happy to find these I don't buy all the copper I find for one thing it's kind of expensive sometimes but I also want to either know where it's gonna go or have a purpose for it so this was a buck 49 and I was really excited because it's a half a cup measuring cup so I will use that this guy, he's, it was $1.49 also, a little bit bigger, I think, you know, you, it's got a little pouring thing, so I don't know what people do with this, but who knows, maybe I'll just decorate with that one, I don't know, or I could use it as a scoop. Um, I bought these, these little plates, they're 25 cents each, these are good to put under pots. Uh, my daughter gave me these pots and so I ended up finding the little plates to go under them for plants. But those are pretty practical and cheap. I mean, you don't have to have a lot of money to go to the thrift store. You know, you can find something like this, 15 cents. What do I need these for? I don't. But they're old. I'm a sucker for old things. It reminds me of my childhood, of my great grandmother, of my grandmother. Even my mom now. So I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll never use them. Maybe I'll put them in a craft. Like I'm not even crafty though, so it's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Thought this was fun. 69 cents. Little candle snuffer, right? Snuffer outer. All right. Um, I'm getting all unorganized. Speaking of candles. These are fun things to look for. This was uh, 25 cents, half off 50 cents, can't beat that. But to me, I felt like it looks like Art Deco, so like 20 years or 30s, I could be wrong. I'm not an expert, not by any stretch. Okay, and then here's another candle thing that was half a 75, you guys can do the math, but I thought this was really pretty. All right. When I was a kid at my um, grandpa's house, my step-grandma Faye would buy cheese in these little cups and she'd, you know, save them and all of us kids would drink out of them. So this was 49 cents. And this is the 50th anniversary of this company, whatever it was, 1933 to 1983. I need to do a little research on it so that I can, you know, know what it is. But this is my childhood. I just had to get that. And it was 49 cents, so hey. And then I found this. I like other people's trash. It's obvious. Um, especially when it's pretty like this. So this was from Packed by the Cow Cons Company. I think it's probably, it's definitely Art Deco. 49 cents. I'm going to use this as a vase. Here's something practical that I don't even know why I bought this. 50 cents for these um, shower hooks. That's what they are. I don't know why I bought them. I can't remember. <laughs> I think there might have been some reasoning. All right. Now, oh yes, I'm going to show you something I found that I thought was really cool. All these old clothes pins. When we first moved here, I bought some plastic clothespins from the Dollar Tree, and by the next year, after sitting out, they disintegrated in my fingers. 50s and 60s plastic, they made to last. 
And the reason I bought those was, you know, I'd rather have the wood ones, but the reason I bought them was because um, that with, I went to the Dollar Tree, I needed some clothespins, that's all I had. Uh, and I ended up getting some better wooden ones at Walmart, but which is what I have now. But I thought these were so cute. These remind me of my great grandma, although I don't really remember her laundry situation or her doing anything, but they're just so old. They're probably, look at these. They're probably from the 50s or 60s. Oh, they're just, I don't know what it is about that time period. I just, I love it. I see stuff and it's like, oh my gosh, I can't control myself. I, you know, I have to, <laughs> I have to have this stuff. Um, but it's useful. So a couple cute little yellow ones. And then here's a different kind of yellow one. And then uh, these guys, red dragons. These guys are so neat. Oh, I love them. And then we have some different white ones. I know, you probably don't want to see all these close pins, but oh my goodness, I just love them. This one's funky, it's like a low rider. <laughs> Okay. Oh, even a pink one. That pink one's too cute. Another little white one. And another white one. So some of them are just sets, you know. But I just, I'm going to have fun when I use those. It's just going to gonna take me to a different time period. A few old wooden ones. Those are the really kind of practical things that I got. I wanted to show you some of the impractical things that I got that are old or, or weird. <laughs> so this Barbie, uh, I was Barbie freak. Um, of course I'm not, I didn't have the Barbies that looked like this because this is from the date on it, 1962. I just love it. I love the color so much. I think it was two or three forty nine. I think I was thinking of having my daughter sell it, but without the lid, it's not worth anything. So might as well keep it because, I mean, look at the colors. It makes me happy. Okay. So this plate right here, it was $2. I peeled the stickers off and I saw that originally it was $10. I remember going in there after I bought my other ones. These are old. It has a chip. It's been around a while, but it's so I picked this one out of the ones that they had because look at the glaze on it. It is so pretty and the color is so vibrant. I just loved it. It's made in Japan and this is the Blue Willow pattern. Um, and then I found some little ones that are really cute. This is also made in Japan. And this one, oh, don't break them. And this one made in occupied Japan for a dollar. So the little ones were a dollar. This one was $2. When it was $10, nope, it was too much. And then it went to $5. I'm like, oh, I really like it, but I just, I just can't justify spending $5 on this plate, even though I love it, right? These make my heart happy. Somebody's gonna I think I'm a weirdo for this one, I think, but it's my childhood. A Kodak Instamatic camera. I am going to decorate with this. It was like two bucks. Nope. Two sixteen. I probably got it for one. I got it for one dollar. Oh my goodness. Listen to that. Listen. Oh, what do we do now? I forgot how to use a camera. Be like that. Now listen, listen, watch. So you do that. This is for the young people who've never seen a camera. Like one of these kind. That moves the film. And isn't that fun? I love it. It's retro. Alright, and my last little thing. And I went a little bit like back and forth over this one because I mean I don't like worship idols or anything <laughs> but this little Jesus <laughs> I thought he was cute he was only 49 cents at the Goodwill and I thought he's got a little water pot oh maybe that's bread and wine in his hand 
It's got the towel around his waist. I'm looking at it more now, and there's an axe down there. I don't know what that's for. But my little Jesus, he thought that was so cute. But I got a lot of little things, a lot of insignificant things. The clothespins, pretty helpful, pretty useful. Um, measuring cups, even though it's pretty, still useful. Label maker, this made my day for sure to find this. But it's a little thing, but it makes the coolest little labels. And then you throw in some of this stuff, <laughs> which is not useful, right? An old camera that doesn't work. Uh, old Barbie thermos that you're not going to ever use because, well, I guess you could use it. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to look at it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to show you. Uh, how I use a few of these things around the house. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you coming to my channel and watching my videos and putting up with my shenanigans, but um, I hope that I have inspired you to find all these treasures. Look at these things and find Jesus. Go find a Jesus. <laughs> Don't find a Jesus. Find the Jesus. Find things. I mean, how fun is that? Even make room for things that make your heart happy. We don't want to be hoarders, but we want to make our hearts happy. And sometimes things do that. Thank you for watching. Bye. special. Um, it's cool, man.